The Junkers Ju-287 was a Nazi Germany aerodynamic test bed built to develop the technology required for a multi-engine jet bomber. It was powered by four Junkers Ju-004 engines, featured a revolutionary forward swept wing, and apart from said wing was assembled largely from components scavenged from other aircraft. The unfinished second and third prototypes, which far more accurately reflected the design of the eventual production bomber, were captured by the Red Army in the closing stages of World War II and the design was further developed in the Soviet Union after the end of the war. Development The Ju-287 was intended to provide the Luftwaffe with a bomber that could avoid interception by outrunning enemy fighters. The swept forward wing was suggested by the project's head designer, Dr. Hans Wok as a way of providing extra lift at low air speeds, necessary because of the poor responsiveness of early turbojets at the vulnerable times of takeoff and landing. A further structural advantage of the forward swept wing was that it would allow for a single massive weapons bay forward of the main wing spar. Prior to the assembly of the first Ju-287, an E-177A5 was modified at the Litov plant in Prague to examine the technical characteristics of this single large bomb bay design. The first prototype was intended to evaluate the concept, and was assembled from the fuselage of an E-177A5, the tail of a Ju-388, main undercarriage from a Ju-352, and nose wheels taken from crashed B-24 Liberators. Two of the Jumo 004 engines were hung under the wings, with the other two mounted in nacelles added to the sides of the Ford fuselage. Flight tests began on August 16, 1944, with the aircraft displaying extremely good handling characteristics, as well as revealing some of the problems of the Ford swept wing under some flight conditions. The most notable of these drawbacks was wing warping, or excessive in flight flexing of the main spar and wing assembly. Tests suggested that the warping problem would be eliminated by concentrating greater engine mass under the wings. This technical improvement would be incorporated in the subsequent prototypes. The 287 was intended to be powered by four Heinkel Hearth ES011 engines, but because of the development problems experienced with that engine, the BMW 003 was selected in its place. The second and third prototypes, V2 and V3 were to have employed six of these engines, in a triple cluster under each wing. Both were to feature the all-new fuselage and tail design intended for the production bomber, the Ju-287A1. V3 was to have served as the pre-production template, carrying defensive armament, a pressurized cockpit and full operational equipment. Work on the Ju-287 program, along with all other pending German bomber projects came to a halt in July 1944. But Junkers was allowed to go forward with the flight testing regime on the V-1 prototype. The wing section for the V-2 had been completed by that time. Seventeen test flights were undertaken in total, which passed without notable incident. Minor problems, however, did arise with the turbojet engines and the RATO booster units, which proved to be unreliable over sustained periods. This initial test phase was designed purely to assess the low speed handling qualities of the Ford swept wing, but despite this the V-1 was dived at full jet power on at least one occasion, attaining a speed in the medium dive angle employed of 660 kph. To gain data on airflow patterns, small woolen tufts were glued to the airframe and the behavior of these tufts during flight was captured by a scene camera mounted on a sturdy tripod directly ahead of the plane's tailpin. After the 17th and last flight in late autumn of 1944, the V-1 was placed in storage and the Ju-287 program came to what was then believed to be its end. However, in March 1945, for reasons that are not entirely clear, the 287 program was restarted, with the RLM issuing a requirement for mass production of the jet bomber as soon as possible. The V-1 prototype was taken out of storage and transferred to the Luftwaffe Evaluation Center at Reiklin, but was destroyed in an Allied bombing raid before it could take to the air again. Construction on the V-2 and V-3 prototypes was resumed at the Junkers factory near Leipzig, and intended future variant designs were dusted off. These included the Ju-287B-1, seeing a return to the original power plant choice of four 1,300 kg thrust ES-011 turbojets, and the B-2, 
which was to have employed two 3,500 kg thrust BMW 018 turbofans. While the Hinkle turbojet was in the pre-production phase at war's end, work on BMW's radical and massively powerful turbine engine never proceeded past the blueprint stage. The final Ju-287 variant designed to be mooted was a missile combination plane ground attack version, comprising an unmanned explosives packed drone 287 and a manned Mi-262 fighter attached to the top of the bomber by a strut assembly. The cockpit of the 287 would be replaced by a massive impact fused warhead. Takeoff and flight control of the combination would be under the direction of the 262's pilot. The 262 would disengage from the 287 drone as the missile neared its target, the pilot of the fighter remotely steering the 287 for the terminal phase of his strike mission. The Junkers factory building the V-2 and V-3 was overrun by the Red Army in late April 1945. At that time, the V-2 was 80% complete, and construction of the V-3 had just begun. Wok and his staff, along with the two incomplete prototypes, were taken to the Soviet Union. There, the third prototype was eventually finished and flown on May 23, 1947, but by that time, jet development had already overtaken the Ju-287. A final much enlarged derivative, the EF-140, was tested in prototype form in 1949 but soon abandoned. Specifications Data from General Characteristics, Crew, 2, Length 18.30 meters, wingspan, 20.11 m, height, 4.70 m, wing area, 61 m2, empty weight, 12,500 kg, gross weight, 20,000 kg, power plant, 4A, Junkers Jumo 004 B1 turbojet engines, 8.825 kN thrust each Ju 287 V2 and Ju 287 V3. 6x Junkers Jumo 004 B1, performance, maximum speed, 558 km per hour. 302 kn at 6000 m, cruise speed, 512 km per hour. 276 kn at 7000 m, range, 1570 km, service ceiling, 9400 m, rate of climb, 9.67 m per second. See also, Related Development, OKB1 EF131, Grumman X29, Related Lists, List of Military Aircraft of Germany, List of World War II Jet Aircraft. References. Equals Notes Equals. Equals Bibliography Equals. External Links, Ju 287, Ju 287 Mistel, 1.